Hey. My diamonds is changing the forecast. I just woke up at Dior tags. Walk in the store at Dior Splash. We get a chicken like DoorDash. Remember, I couldn't afford that. No cap. No bat. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, JDI family, to another vlog. You guys, welcome back. Before we start, shout out to everybody that's part of Naughty Gang. If you're part of Naughty Gang, drop a Naughty Gang down in the comments and let me know if you're part of Naughty Gang. Y'all already know we extremely lit, bro. No cap. Also, don't forget to get your JDI merch. You feel me? Don't forget to go cop some drip from the store. Link is in the description. I just dropped these hoodies in blue and the YZ blue, so make sure you go cop up, bro. On bro. You're gonna have some drip on, I'm telling you. But listen, today we are gonna be messing around with the Yamaha Raz once again that we picked up two days ago. If you're new and you didn't watch that video, you can go check it out, you feel me? Definitely go check that out, cause it was lit. But um, we cleaned the carburetor yesterday. We got the carburetor taken off, off of there and everything and whatnot. And now today, what I wanna do is change the transmission oil in here. This is where the oil goes, got the little oil cap right there and i also want to take the spark plug out i have the socket for that so we can take that out now and do a compression test you feel me but yeah um far as the yz125 goes she's just chilling right now you feel me she chilling i still haven't put these fort guards on yet i don't know why but yeah she's she's just chilling looking all pretty you feel me she looking good too i ain't even gonna cap that pipe oh Ooh, she is clean though. No cap, she is looking good. But YZ125 is chilling right now. I do think I gotta change my counter staff still again because it was leaking the day I took it out and it was making that noise. I know for sure I put it in crooked. And if you put those things in crooked, the, the seal's gonna fail or it's gonna come out again. It's a waste of time. We'll get it right though. Y'all know the vibes. Let's get into this Raz. Let's take this uh this spark plug out of here. You feel me? I have the socket right here. It's a 1316. Let's get this spark plug out of here and do a compression test on this. And, and see and see how how much compression she got. So let's get it. Got the socket. Let's get this on there real quick. Hopefully we don't have to do a top end rebuild on her. We could just get her started. Definitely gonna probably need a new plug. I know that. We're gonna change this out. But I can't wait till that battery comes. We're gonna see if this electrical actually works. Got the spark plug out of here. Spark plug's not that bad though. So when you take the spark plug out, this is the only thing y'all wanna do. You get that spark plug out of there and you just cover this hole and kick your bike. Yup, she, she's good. Y'all heard that? Yeah, she, she's good. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, she's good. She got compression, so. That's good. Now we know that she got some good compression. We ain't gotta worry about the top end rebuild. We gonna drain this oil out of here. You feel me? She finna be lit though. For sure. Just taking that up a little bit. Head going on here. Now we are going to take the oil out of here. This transmission oil that's in here. And put some fresh oil in there. Yeah, I know I, I still got some fresh oil from when we went to go and get some. I have like two bottles right here, but. We're gonna drain the oil out of there and everything. I gotta see what size that drain bolt is. I'm not even sure what size it is. I only have a few sockets. I'm trying to, um, it looks like a 10. I have a 10. Let me see if it's a 10. Let me see. Might be, I might, oh no, that's not no 10. More like a 12. All right, you guys, so I just found the right size socket. I was looking around and I found one. Um. Right here, y'all. Boom. That's it. Bam. That fits right on there. I hope this is the drain bolt. We're gonna set this low. Oh, right here. And unscrew this. Hopefully, this is the drain bolt. Yes, it is. Let's go, y'all. All right, that's the drain bolt. Everything is pretty much easy on this. I ain't even going front. Look at that oil. Whoa, she looking a little black. Whew. Look how gunked up this this is though. 
like all over here and stuff. Y'all see that? Like, it's all. We gonna clean everything up though. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure all of this comes off. Like, let me see. That fucking tar remover I try to tell y'all about ain't no joke. You feel me? Look at. Let's see what this fucking tar remover do. Gonna spray some on there real quick. Check me out though. You feel me? Y'all ready? I know it comes off, I'm telling y'all. Look at that, it's coming off. I'm telling y'all, listen. Look at, that comes off, I'm telling y'all. She gonna be good, bro. We're gonna clean her up real good. Thinking about doing it tomorrow, what do you guys think? You think we should clean her up tomorrow? We got, I think the battery is supposed to be coming by Friday. And I wanna have everything nice and clean before we get the battery. Our ignition coil, our spark plug coil, comes next Monday. So we'll be putting that on next Monday and trying to start her, so. She's not that bad though. The muffler's a little rusty, but she's a 86, 1986. Like, come on. She's not bad though. Come on, bro. Yo, I can't wait to hear this thing. I'm telling you, I know she's gonna be good. I still ain't put that carburetor back on there yet. I don't wanna put it back on there and it get dirty. We gonna clean all that up, you feel me? All of it. It looks like it looks like it's from 1986. That's that night. That's that 1986 oil right there. But listen, we got all the oil out of there. We're gonna set that to the side. Um, let's throw this drain bolt back in there real quick, and let's get them fresh oil up in there. You feel me? We're gonna throw this back in there. You feel me? Seven hundred cm. She takes more than my bike. That's tough. We might have seven hundred. I don't know. Let's see what we get. We got two partial bottles right here. We got one, two, two partial bottles right here. A little bit left over from the, the YZ125. I see. <laughs> Let's see if we could get seven hundred out of these two bottles. Hopefully, we ain't gotta go buy none. Let's see. 700, wow. This thing only goes up to like 500. What's that right there? 500. So we need two more. I don't know if this is two. No, this isn't two. We ain't got 700, we got like 600. We'll be all right though. We will be all right, cause we gonna get some more. Let me put y'all back. Let's unscrew this. Oh, that unscrewed pretty good. It wasn't stuck on there. It's the oil cap. I don't wanna get no dirt in there either. Who's drawing it like juice? So we got like a, another hundred, I ain't gonna lie. This bottle right here has another hundred in it, so we're gonna pour this in there. And we're gonna have six, you feel me? So, we should be all right. Listen, we finna clean this drawing out, probably tomorrow. Look, look what, look what that bug and tar remover do. I'm telling y'all, this drawing gonna be clean. Like, I, that's just one little spray and wipe. Like, that's it. I'm telling y'all, this drone gonna be spick and span clean. Battery comes Friday, so we gonna know if all of this work and whatnot. I know the vibes though. You feel me? That 1986 oil right there. <laughs> 1986, bruh. That's crazy. <laughs> But listen though, y'all, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all niggas in the next vlog. Y'all already know the vibes. Peace.